and you look at the amount of youth and these players on their team that haven't even scratched the surface of how good they can be, they are in a great position. I mean, I do think making that that play in and having some valuable uh, you know playoff experience would be very beneficial to these guys, but that's not even about that. And can you, they have no vets. Can you imagine this young team with like adding on like two or three vets in the locker room and on the court to kind of show these kids the ropes and what to do and kind of be there and, and, and crunch time of tough games. This, these guys are playing hard and Josh Giddy's unbelievable. He's one of the smartest point guards in the league. He said last night, I didn't do much. The guys just made shots, but he he makes the right play. He doesn't force anything. Uh, he's tall. He's long. He makes the simple pass. Uh, and, and he's a really good point guard. He's going to be really good for, for a really long time. But it's it's this team is special. They have Chet there sitting on the shelf who they can only get better with. They're going to have another pick. Uh, the future is very, very bright for these guys. And, and I love everything they're doing. So get to the play in. Get, don't get to the play in. Either way, this has been a very successful season for them. Yeah, it, it feels like things are going to be getting exciting here pretty quickly, Shams. And he mentioned Chet, Chet Holmgren, of course, who's missed the entire season. Let's talk about how bright this team's future is when he gets back and with whatever else happens. Yeah, I mean, that's their version of Victor Wembanyama. They they went out and got him last year. He's the he's the he's their version of the unicorn. And I think uh, there's high expectations for Chet Holmgren once he's back in the lineup. I think this year, the, the Thunder being able to be in a position where they can contend for a playoff berth, contend for a play, and I think that's probably a little further along than expected. But Shea Gildas-Alexander, uh, he's gone through this process, but I think you, you can tell he wants to be a part of a team that wins. And Josh Giddy and him, I, I'm curious to see how they continue to coexist, how they continue to play together. Because you you look at them play, they both sometimes need the ball in their hands, but they also do other things and, and slash. And, and Josh Giddy's becoming a much better three-point shooter. Josh Giddy, one of four 20-year-olds in NBA history, averaged, averaged 16 points, seven rebounds, six assists, joining Magic Johnson, LeBron, and Luka. So clearly this Dang. guy can play, he can pass, he can facilitate. <laughs> Um, and just how him and Shea continue to you know, get a relationship on the court, off the court, that's going to be the biggest key, I think, to the Thunder future. Eddie, you there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's an insane that list of names to be. I know. Yeah, that's an insane list of names. I mean, look, three Hall of Famers and, and Josh Giddy. I, I think what's always important to note, too, with Shea Gilders Alexander, he can't rent a car until July. He won't even be 24, <laughs> 25 until this summer. So if you're talking about a youth revival and ushering more uh, youth into that team, they have that. And, and he's having some playoff experience as well. Him and Lou Dort kind of went to war with James Harden in seven game series in the bubble, for which I know Shams remembers he was out there. Um, they don't necessarily need the playoffs this season. They're battle tested in a sense and they're scrappy. So it's an exciting time out there for them. And, and next year, really like look at them to make the leap, not only with bringing in Chet, but whoever else they add. And they have a ton of flexibility with all their draft picks with a ton of cap space. If anybody's going to add a star and everybody's capable to add a and, you know, they might make that leap top four seed next year and be a true contender. They have all the tools right now. All of those years of tanking will finally show what it was all for. It's kind of, it's kind of <laughs> exciting. I know people don't want to hear that, but it is. 